Good day students, this is Ms. Laleen and this video is the continuation of problem solving involving sets. For the first problem, the following diagram shows how all the grade 7 students of Cavite High School go to school. In this problem, the Venn diagram is already given. Our goal is to answer the following questions by means of looking at the numbers in the Venn diagram. For the first question, how many students ride in a car, jeep, and tricycle going to their school? Upon looking at the question, it actually made use of the word N, and this word will tell us that the operation involved is intersection. So that means that we're going to look at the intersection of the three sets. Looking into the Venn diagram, here is the intersection of the three given sets. So that means that there are 15 students who ride in a car, jeep, and tricycle going to their school. For the second question, how many students ride in both a car and a jeep? For this one, it still made use of this word, so meaning it is still under the intersection. But this time, you're going to look at two sets only. So look into the intersection of car and jeep, which is located here. So that means that you're going to add the two numbers, so there are 34 students who ride in both a car and a jeep. For the third question, how many students ride in both a car and a tricycle? This time, you're going to look at the intersection of car and tricycle, which is located here. So when we add the two numbers, there are 35 students who ride in both a car and a tricycle. For the fourth question, how many students ride in a jeep or a tricycle? This time, the question made use of the word or. This word will tell you that the operation involved is union. So that means that we're going to get the union of jeep and tricycle. When you get the union, you're going to look at the set of jeep, which is located here, and the set of tricycle, which is located here. So since this is union, you're going to combine the two sets all together. So you're going to add the numbers 19, 15, 17, 76, 66, and 20. When we add everything, that gives us 213 students who ride in a jeep or a tricycle. For the fifth question, how many students go to school in a car only? This question made use of the word only. So in that case, looking into the set of car, you're going to look at the number without the intersection at all, which in this case is 55. So in that case, there are 55 students who go to school in a car only. For the sixth question, how many students go to school in a jeep only? This time, upon looking at the set of jeep, you're going to look at the number without any intersection, which in this case is this number here. So, there are 76 students who go to school in a jeep only. For the seventh question, how many students go to school in a tricycle only? Looking into the set of tricycle, locate the number without any given intersection, which is 66. So there are 66 students who go to school in a tricycle only. For the eighth question, how many students walk to school? Upon looking into the Venn diagram, the students walking to school can be located outside the three given sets, which is this one. So in that case, there are 100 students who walk to school. And for the last question, how many grade 7 students are there in Cavite High School? This time, since it's asking for the total number of students, you're going to just add everything, and even the number outside the three sets. Which in this case, this means that you're going to add 55, 19, 15, 20, 66, 17, 76, and 100, for a total of 368. So that is the total number of grade 7 students in Cavite High School.